Hey guys, it's Future Inventions here, and now, as I told you before, I'm going to be starting reviewing apps. So, um, the first, actually two apps I will be reviewing is Jellycar and Jellycar 2. So, first let's get on to Jellycar. Jellycar is a great game. It's 100% free. You get a bunch of different levels. And uh, basically what you have is a car. You press one side of the screen to go backwards, one side to go forwards. You press the car to get bigger. You press it again to get smaller. This meter shows you how big or how small it is. You can zoom in and out. Also, three fingers and the game is paused. You can either exit, continue, or retry. I'm gonna exit. And I like the jelly icons. You can see that they move with the accelerometer. And it's a very nice game. Also, you can uh, see your scores. And there are a lot of cool levels here. There's quite a bit of levels. There's easy, medium, and hard, as you've seen before. And it's really a lot of fun. So, now I'll get on to Jelly Cart 2, which is a dollar. Now, Jelly Cart 2 is just like this, except there's a lot more to it. So, as you can see, or here already the music is different you have quite a few more icons you have information email um, you can send an email to the developers also you have the same scoreboard classic mode factory long jump and custom mode first let's go into classic in classic it's just like the other thing except you have quite a few more levels and quite a few more options and I'll get into that in a bit so first of all something that I want to show you first is that you can customize your car you can first change the body color and the wheel color so um, I'll just take something random let's say blue with green wheels you can also switch the type of car which is really cool. So like I told you before, now I'm going to go into uh, power-ups and other features. This is my favorite type of car. And also you have a lev little, bleh, level editor too, I'm sorry. I'll get into that once I show you. Um, I just wanted to show you the custom cars first. So you would be like, whoa, what is this? So it wouldn't be like that, I mean. Okay, so let's go into um, a level. Now you'll see right here you have um, a balloon icon and um, what looks like a tire with stuff on it. So you just, it, it's the same basic thing. Except in this game there are checkpoints. Um, I'll show you a checkpoint later. Here you see you can get big again. I'll see if I can um, find some levels that has the power-ups. Hold on. Takes a long time to load. That's disappointing. Okay, so I'll see if I can find some power-ups anywhere. Um, here, this has power-ups. First, I'll show you the balloon. Here's the balloon. You press this, you go up. So now we have a balloon. You can use the balloon. And you can um, go back and forth like this. And... Sometimes you can mess up your car, unfortunately. Like that. 
Now I'll see if I can uh, find a place out here. This most likely uses, yep, here we go. Also something I forgot to mention, uh, in both, see you can go up on walls. Also something I forgot to mention, in both editions, um, Jelly Car 1 and Jelly Car 2, if you tilt, then you can tilt the car, which is very useful. So that's all the power-ups. There are a lot of levels here. So also instead of um, three fingers, you have right here this button. So I'll exit. Now I'm going to show you factory. So here we go. Here we are in factory. Basically what you do here is um, you can make a new level. You can delete this one you can edit it you can play it or you can quit so I'm going to edit it I'll show you the editor so here is what everything looks like here you can scroll around if you touch something then you can size it by going like this and like this so That's how you can size things. You can also turn them with this little bar thing on the bottom. Unfortunately, if your hand gets off of the bar, then you'll move the object. So you can move it from any point on the screen. You can change its color too. Also, you can make it move. Here you can turn it on and off. You can change its left and right or up and down movement. You can offset it to start it. Uh, you can change the um, movement. You can change how fast it moves. And you can also make it spin. So, um, oops. So now you can also copy it make another one and when you and you can also this garbage right there when you're done just press that and you can see arrows show you which way this is moving you can add power-ups all kinds of cool stuff there's a checkpoint that I was talking about before you have a list down here when you want to add something you just pull it up and there you have it so it's very cool and sometimes it does get a bit glitchy. I don't know why, it's just random glitches. You can watch things play out without the car. You can't move the screen when you're doing that though. See? And um, also you can go to where the car is. See, see these random glitches? How did that get over there? And where did where did that come from? Look at this. Now this platform is curved. I never even did that. And why is this thing all of a sudden rotated? Uh, see? Weird glitches. So then you can just... Yes, I want to quit the level editor. And now I'll play it. And I'll show you. Some items are soft. Some are hard. You'll have to um, check before you use them. I know this looks really hard, but that makes it a bit easier. Yeah. So that's the level editor. Also, we have factory mode, which is uh, basically just this. You have to get them in the right places. They just little pieces slide down. It's sort of like Tetris, except you, you're sorting them. And you're pressing these things to change which way to go and I just wasn't concentrating there and then every time one goes in the wrong section this bar goes down and when there's nothing left there then it's done so also they get faster the more you've done it so that's it for factory and long jump is just like the regular game except it's like a ski jump you just keep going and then you see how far you can go. 
so I'll demonstrate it. Oh, and it's 10 minutes, so um, I'll conclude that. It's a great game. They're both great games. Um, I enjoy them very much. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.